616, the wait to catch a glimpse of a natural phenomenon almost over. Today's solar eclipse going to take place from coast to coast. Here's a map to show you which areas across the country are going to get to enjoy a total eclipse. That path cuts through 12 different states. So as we get ready to see day turn into night, we're also seeing viewing parties pop up across the country. Many of them are right here in western New York. And 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin is live at Buffalo State this morning showing us how they're getting ready. Well, good morning, Katie, and good morning, western New York. Happy solar eclipse day. I'm so excited. We've been gearing up for this. We're live here at Buffalo State, one of the major uh, places that we'll be having a viewing party here at the Whitworth Ferguson uh, Planetarium with director Kevin Williams. Now, Kevin, safety, a very important part of enjoying and experiencing this solar eclipse. Now, we've all seen these hot commodity. I've got mine, these glasses. And in addition, what else will you guys be passing out? What are these? So these are uh, what call uh, pinhole projectors. So the idea is that you have the sun behind you. It shines through a little hole in the piece of cardstock and then it projects onto a piece of white paper. Um, even if you don't have one of these, you can make your own using an index card or a piece of cardboard, just poke a hole in it, and you'll be able to watch the eclipse happen um, in front of you. So the idea is that, again, not seeing it directly, but seeing it through something else. Right, you never want to look directly at the sun because it will damage your eyes, so that way um, we want to make sure that people have the eclipse glasses or have the pinhole projectors, or if they come here to Buffalo State, we're going to have telescopes with the proper uh, filters on them too. Very cool. Now, I know the eyepiece isn't here, but talk to me just very briefly about this. Right, so uh, we'll have about six telescopes here, um, but telescopes are like big eyes, so they need the protection too. And you see on the end of the telescope, there's a big filter and that's protecting the uh, optics in here as well as your eye, but it will be able to show the eclipse safely in a, um, a big disc, so you'll really be able to see it. All right, awesome. Well, we're here again at the bottom of the hour. We're going to head back inside the planetarium, tell you a little bit more, but again, Buff State starts at 1230 for that solar eclipse viewing party. We're live here at the planetarium, Liz Lewin 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Liz, yeah, thank you. Now, if you won't be able to see the eclipse today, you are in luck. We've got another one coming up in a little while. All right, the next solar eclipse of the U.S. happens April 8th, 2024. So you've got some time and the line of totality crosses through the Midwest and right over Buffalo. So be able to get an even better view then. But if you're headed outside today, Andy.